Hi Pisces, welcome to your March reading. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for your love and your support. I appreciate you and I hope that you're having a great day. We're going to see what messages you can do for you for the month of March. See what you need to look out for overall, what you can expect, get you some insight and some guidance. Overall, see what March is bringing for you. Happy birthday to all my Pisces sons that are listening. I hope you guys have a beautiful birthday season. Happy New Year to you. And I hope that this next year for you is freaking amazing so i'm going to start off your reading with some moonology cards as we have the new moon in pisces happening in your sign on um, this weekend on the 10th so let's just see what might be activated for you during this time pisces what can pisces expect in march show me clearly you guys are like so quiet i'm like hello there we go okay so we have a personal issue reaches resolution, full moon in Cancer, as well as believe in the impossible blue moon. And we also have confidence is the key to your success. So there is a lot to talk about here, especially... Wow, okay, so you got a lot of Cancer energy showing up here. We have the new moon in Cancer at the bottom of the deck. You and your loved ones are safe. Perhaps I'm picking up on somebody with Cancer placements. Maybe you're dealing with a Cancer. Maybe you also have Leo placements. Or maybe there's something about July coming up or August coming up. Just, just a little heads up. Maybe there's something that is playing out from now to July or August. Or something that you could be initiating here. Or something that you're beginning in March is going to be playing out from now to August. So... Just keep that in mind. Keep in mind as well, <laughs> lots to keep in mind, we're in eclipse season. Next set of eclipses later on this year, you will be having a full moon eclipse in your sign later on in September. So just some interesting things to keep in mind that there are some significant changes that you can expect to unfold. And this is like the initiation of that. And so I'm definitely seeing for you, Pisces, that there's some sort of like personal issue that you've been struggling with it's reaching resolution or you're finding a solution towards something that you've been struggling with a lot of you or for a group i'm picking up on this is relating to your confidence your self-worth your value how you see yourself how you express yourself this could be in terms of dating and your love life and your relationships with other people um, and the types of people that you attract. This can also show up in the ways that you express yourself um, creatively, sexually, and etc. But mostly because Leo is the fifth house that rules those types of topics. We also have some things being brought up around their home, your family, maybe your upbringing, maybe something to do with your mother or a feminine energy in your life or if you yourself you're a mother or a father it's like bringing up these deep deep roots within you on like how you deal with family or your children or like siblings not so much really siblings it's more to do with like connection to the womb connection to the the mother connection to you know how do you mother yourself that kind of stuff so i'm seeing that there's a lot of deep 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 healing taking place and there's something that you really need to believe in that's possible that's happening you're needing to believe in the impossible you're making the impossible possible pisces this is a time where you really need to dream really need to imagine really need to tap into that creativity that i know you have you guys are one of the most dreamy creative zodiac signs and um, this is a time where you really need to let your mind and your heart just run wild okay run with the wind is what i'm hearing so you're needing to be confident because that's what's going to bring you to success in whatever realm that applies for you you will be successful but you have to believe it if you don't believe it you're setting yourself up for failure i'm just saying but anyways there might be some things coming up about your home where you live maybe there's something to do with like moving because cancer is the fourth house so that does talk about like you know your physical home where you lay your head at night so like it could be talking about um new some changes new things that maybe you're getting for your home maybe some renovations maybe you are needing to like throw some things out or move some furniture around that's also a good way to like shake up any stagnant energy if you've been feeling like in your life or just like in your home has been kind of like stagnant or just like boring you're needing to kind of like spice it up a little bit maybe you're needing to like shift some furniture around or like throw some things out or even go out and purchase some new things like treat yourself kind of vibe um you know painting your room or something like that i don't know i'm just getting those kinds of vibes so just some ways that you could work with this energy but you're just needing to really believe in the impossible there could be something about um because later in august we do have a blue moon we have two full moons in august i'm pretty sure 
is it August or September, is around then when we'll have a blue moon. So perhaps this is significant or connecting or tying into down the line later on this year. So maybe not, 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 note, note, jot that down in some sort of like, I don't know, calendar, notebook, and maybe come back to this or make a mental note and see how this unfolds. Anyways, let's see. What's the vibes looking like for Pisces in the month of March 2024? What can Pisces expect? Any insight, wisdom, guidance? For my Pisceans, we have the zebra. This is all about expansion. Zebra is all about fun, exploration, creativity. Really about you taking some sort of chance on something and not overthinking it. It's really making me feel like the fool energy. It's making me feel like there's no strings, there's no attachments, there's nothing that's holding you back. You're free to do whatever that you've been afraid to do or like whatever that maybe you've lacked the confidence in. I see that in March, you're finally being like, you know what? I'm going to do this thing. I'm going to make this happen. I'm going to really like solidify myself on this goal or on this intention and i'm going to bring it to my reality i'm going to bring this to fruition like there's this determination that you have there's this natural like creativity and like you know you're just you're feeling really pumped you're feeling really driven you're feeling motivated towards this new path or you're expanding on something and it's it's oh wow we have the octopus that came out after it's almost like you don't know how to go about it though like you have so many different things that you're juggling. You have a lot of people that you might be dealing with. Also, you know, there may be a peanut gallery trying to tell you Pisces do this, Pisces do that, Pisces this, that, and the other. Like trying to overstep, be mindful of others overstepping your boundaries. Really be firm with your boundaries. And this card sometimes comes out when there is some like people pleasing tendencies or like, you know, there's this natural instinct. Well, I don't know. Is it instinct or is it just programming? So I'm going to think about, is it real? Is it your instinct or is it really more like your trauma? Oh, <laughs> where it's like you you instinctively want to like help others or like, you know, um, yeah, just like support others. But in what ways are you like, are you sacrificing your own needs by putting other people in front of yourself? Like, does that make sense? So when this card comes out, it's kind of like, don't feel bad for saying no or for setting boundaries or like you know it's not your job to put out everybody else's fires like you got to take care of you and your life first before before you can it's like put your gas mask on before you put on the person next to you or like you know life jacket put your life jacket on before you worry about putting on somebody else's life jacket that kind of thing so yeah um there, there it's like the way i'm seeing the zebra to the octopus is like you're wanting to like break free you're wanting to like take a chance on something you're wanting to like you know believe in the impossible but then that the mind becomes overactive and you're just like well what about this or what about that or okay well that's not going to work because you know i'm not ready for it or i don't feel prepared or i don't have the confidence or like there's there's this hiccup right it's there's a bit of a hiccup that's preventing this like flow so let's just keep going but it, it could just be like your emotions running high Maybe you're just, your mind is overactive. It's like, it's your mind versus your soul. I'm seeing that there's this inner struggle between following your intuition or being like practical and analytical and like shooting down your dreams. We have the crocodile. So you know what spirit's saying? You might just need a chill. Before you take this big fat leap of faith, before you take any crazy chances, maybe the best thing for you to do before making any permanent decisions, you might want to just relax for a second pisces season slow down at the end of oh i was gonna say april oh my god i'm getting ahead of myself at the end of march we have a mercury retrograde in aries i think it'll retrograde back in the pisces i don't know i didn't look at the transits to be honest but we'll have mercury retrograde that's always a time to really like slow down backtrack and trace your steps and you know just plan and to not really rush and so this crocodile energy is really just like going into that so you, you know i would say by aries season just before the eclipse you're gonna want to just slow down okay slow down take a break catch your breath all right and it's because 
your intuition is guiding you to something. This is something that's growing within. There's something that is being incubated right now. It's being kept safe and it's not quite ready to hatch open. Not quite ready, but it's getting there. Let's see. Underneath the golden egg, which is the heart, the cheetah. All right. So there's something about divine. Oh my God. Hold on. <laughs> cheetah, butterfly, otter. Okay. So there's something about divine timing, Pisces. You can't force divine timing. It's all happening on like a specific sequence of events. But I see with a short amount of time, once you kind of take a bit of a break to just like gather your intentions and figure out what is Pisces want and kind of the steps that you might need to take to get that into fruition or to really get the the motion going once you're ready you'll know and you'll go for it and you'll you're ready to like fall through with this intention or with this plan or with this forward movement and it's going to change your life quite drastically but it's going to make you so fucking happy with the otter to the butterfly these changes that you're going to be initiating that you will be acting on in march it's leading towards long-term happiness, fulfillment, joy, celebration, like such positive energy. All that you wanted, all that you've wished for. I'm seeing lots of abundance. I'm seeing lots of fun times, good connections, and really just you living peacefully and authentically and just following your soul's purpose. So it's really beautiful. It's really pure. And I see it's all coming together for you. So if you're feeling a little antsy, a little restless, a little, a little anxious, a little stir crazy it's 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 gonna move past it's just you gotta ride the waves okay um all right let's see what else is going on for you for pisces what do my pisces need to know look out for be aware of for the month of march 2024 what's going on for pisces in the month of march thank you so much we have the king of cups there you are in your emotions in your feels but not like in a bad way <laughs> like you you're actually able to see your feelings not see your feelings but you're able to like express them and sit with them and like you're seeing things and feeling things it's very like crystal clear okay king of cups he's naturally somebody who is very compassionate very loving he has a huge heart he's got a lot of love to share a lot of emotions to feel and express and this is like a creative energy too all right so pisces season this is a time for you to get creative and like imagine and you know i just feel like you're kind of wearing your heart on your sleeve or there's this there's this vulnerability that you have that you aren't so afraid to share maybe in the past you were but not so much anymore and so you know also with the king of cups he's intuitive as fuck so like intuitions on points is even heightened during your birthday season and there's something your intuition is guiding you towards ace of swords underneath the ace of swords we also have the moon and the high priestess see so like there are things going on behind the scenes and it may not be apparent to like the visual eye to our 3d reality it may not fully be in the light but just because it's a little bit dark doesn't mean it's not there you know it's there ace of swords right you see that shit you know it's there you feel it you sense it you know it's on a way but here's the thing okay so because underneath the high priestess and the moon like your intuition is guiding you towards this but then we have the five of wands which is saying like you're feeling a bit conflicted or there's a bit of like is it really there is it not do I listen to my intuition? Is my intuition on something or am I just in my head? Am I just being delusional? Like, am I, <laughs> am I making something out of nothing? Like, well, yes, you are. You are making something out of nothing. You're manifesting something that was not even there. That was not, that was just in the, your mind's eye. It was just a vision. You're bringing it into your reality. But so with that five of ones, there is this like challenge there is a bit of a struggle when it comes to you believing your intuition or following your intuition or again your mind is becoming very clouded or very loud and it's hard to decipher is this my intuition is this my paranoia like and then also the peanut gallery of other people's opinions and telling you what you should or shouldn't do we have the 501s like this could be representing external influences that are distracting or you know getting in your way or making you question your path like that kind of stuff right now if this is another person we have a queen of wands we have a six of pentacles hangman you need to take a look at some of the relationships in your life yeah three of cups six of pentacles you need to take a look at some of the relationships friendships family romantic i don't care but not so much work but making sure that you are surrounding yourself with people that have similar goals 
um, ideas and like people that ride with you, that rock with you, that support you and uplift you and inspire you, you know, instead of like, you know, trying to compete with you because I'm seeing queen of wands and the five of wands. There could be a person. This could be someone with heavy fire energy or we have Aries, but maybe it's another Pisces as well because we do have a lot of water. But I'm seeing that for some of you and this may not be for everyone, but for a few of you, there is someone who is very competitive or tries to compete with you or tries to like one up you or like something like that. It's just like that might be frustrating here. Maybe you're needing to express that. Maybe that's something that you haven't really shared, but maybe it's important that you bring this to light. Okay. So a lot of different things that we get, got from that king of cups out here but you're just follow your heart follow your intuition and just feel your emotions all of them the good the bad in between they're all valid what else is going on for pisces what's going on for pisces in the month of march 2024 <laughs> the moon's coming out again all right hey what's up here we have the moon all right, so again, listening, following your intuition, King of Cups, the moon, intuition on point. Okay, you can see in the dark, all right? You got night goggles. What is it? Night vision? Night vision? Night vision. You got night vision. You can see in the darkness. You can see in even the most confusing times. Like there's this clear path or like you're following what feels right i see like you're taking your time knight of pentacles oh we have a three of swords oh it's heavy there's some heaviness that you're you're moving forwards but not gonna lie like when it comes to your emotions or some some pain that you're carrying with you that you're moving on from but it is taking some time for you to heal for you to move on from maybe something that happened in Aquarius season. We have Aquarius energy with the star and the eight of cups. Some of you, not everybody, but I'm picking up on a group of you where there was something you had to leave behind. Um, and you're trying to figure out what the next step is or what direction are you moving forwards? And you're just not quite sure. But um, I see you're just plugging along. You're moving forwards, even though it's a little uncomfy. You're like, I just got to keep pushing through the pain. All right, and use this as inspiration, use this as motivation to never go back to how it used to be. Or like, you know, like you're using this as like fuel. And then underneath the Eight of Cups, you have the Fool. New start, new cycle, new beginning. All right, so this is all during this time, this moment of like uncertainty. You're like, okay, what happens next? Like, what's gonna happen um, two weeks from now, a month from now, a year from now, where am I going to be? Oh my God, what the hell? Just continue to keep listening to your intuition because it is leading you to where you're meant to be. So just keep that up. Let's see what happens next. What else is going on for Pisces? Let the current take you to where you're meant to go. All right. Really drawn to this river at the bottom. I see a queen of cups at the bottom. Maybe there's someone that you'll be connecting with. All right, what's going on for Pisces in March 2024? We have the Six of Cups. Okay, so there is something from your past being brought up. Like I mentioned, we do have Mercury Retrograde taking place this month. And it will refer to a past event. There's some past things that you're being reminded of. Or you are noticing a pattern kind of play out. There could be things being brought up around your home life, around your childhood, around your upbringing. Um around like you know your childhood home like where you grew up and remember in the moonology cards we do have a lot of cancer and energy and that talks about the home that talks about your family that talks about your roots and your upbringing so maybe you're doing a lot of deep shadow work the moon and the six of cups doing a lot of deep reflection a lot of integrating a lot of healing a lot of i'm hearing forgiveness but there is something from your past that you're looking back at it and perhaps you're like reminiscing or you have a decision 
to make. Two of Swords, the Ten of Wands, and the Lovers. You have a very important decision to make and it's most likely to do with another person or technically it's like your match, okay? Because we have a King of Cups and now we have a Queen of Cups. It's the Queen of Cups we've seen earlier. And I'm actually seeing that this Queen of Cups is this Queen of Wands. Remember earlier how I was saying it's like there could be someone who's like kind of competing with you or being a bit competitive or is trying to like one-up you or it's like, you know, maybe you share like a win with them and then they always try to like make it seem like it's not that big of a deal or be like okay nice like okay why do you tell me this or i don't know but i am seeing here we have the feminine energy queen of cups and a queen of wands and we also have a seven of wands and it feels oh and then we have a queen of swords it feels like there is someone here or you might be just dealing with a lot of different people you might be dealing with a bunch of different people this could be representing maybe siblings or someone of the same sex as well this can be friends, romance, it don't matter, but maybe family as well. But there's like, I feel kind of like, the, I feel like it's this is how the cards are. This is at the bottom. Hold on, hold on. I gotta like hold this properly. This Queen of Swords, Seven of Wands is one individual. And this Queen of Cups, Queen of Wands is another individual. Because this is someone who is kind of guarded or they're being very protective over their energy they're being very cold whoever this individual is this queen of swords person she's very cold i almost want to say isolated as well she's icy like there's someone here who's being icy and then there's someone who is being like warm and compassionate and healing and loving and nurturing and so there's like a decision to be made about where this relationship is going again relationship in any term doesn't have to be romantic friendship family etc um and this is all clarifying something from the past so there's something that happened in the past that created this this wall or this um why am i getting resentment here There's an important decision to be made, but it's like very tough or it's very challenging or it feels difficult. Maybe there's something you've got to let go or release, but you're finding it very difficult because of attachments, labels even with the lovers. Certain labels, certain attachments, you know, even human attachments that we give people. Um, that's my best friend. That's my mother. That's my husband. That's my, you know, like that's my boss that's like the titles that we give people and how, what kind of expectation that puts them under and it's almost like as there has there been like some sort of expectation place or maybe something that happened in the past that's like created some sort of like mold of how it should be but that's like a human kind of concept or i don't know something like that but so i see like there's a decision that you're gonna need to make in the coming weeks and um, it's like when I look at the lovers, it's either it's like you want to bridge some sort of gap here or are you going to let this continue to split or go its separate ways? Because we see that there's this big crack in the ground, almost like earthquakes, right? The fault line is what I'm hearing. So there's a fault line between you and somebody else. And you're wondering if it's something worth mending, healing, repairing, building. Three of Pentacles, High Priestess. Can this be worked on? Can this be improved? Or is this a dead end? Five of Pentacles. Hmm, interesting. Okay. Let's keep going. Pull a couple more. So you're, what you're needing to focus on as well is because there is a pattern. There's some sort of pattern repeating from a past situation. And patterns don't lie. So obviously you can change some of it. But if you're dealing with other people, you can't really control them or make them act or behave differently. So it's like not all on you. You can't completely change this just on your own or just by yourself. Unless this is something going on just strictly with you and nobody else then yeah, okay, you can completely change this, completely alter this outcome. But if it's involving other people, that's where it gets a little tricky or that's where it's like, it's kind of like, you know, beyond your control. So let's just see what happens next. 
you might want to like wait on some not wait but just like give it a little bit more time or space yeah literally four of swords you're needing to give something some space to grow or space it's either it's space to grow to come back stronger or space to grow and the past take you maybe somewhere else four of swords is the energy of rest retreat repair healing and rejuvenation and it is a card of taking a break and that's literally the crocodile so it seems like there's something you might need to take a break from hmm nine of pentacles at the bottom and really just focus on yourself you're having to focus on yourself for this moment pisces queen of pentacles even your money your finances some of you might have an ending in your job or like some sort of shift taking place when it comes to, maybe you could be choosing to work independently or branching out to start your own business or let's see ten of swords and the lovers seeing that there's some sort of significant ending taking place between you and someone else underneath the lovers page of swords so i'm seeing that you might have a conversation with somebody after taking some time to do some introspection hermit right you took that time out crocodile four swords take a break give it a little bit of time get a little bit of space and after taking that time to kind of recalibrate your thoughts and your feelings then it's time to discuss where are we going from here and for some you might be saying like okay th this is it like i can't move forward here like this is over or like i gotta move on with my life or there's something that needs to change in this dynamic or it's like you're realizing you're kind of needing to let's see let's see let's get a little bit more info that's a lot but we have so we have the fool let's see ten of pentacles some of you are needing to actually like move like you're needing to actually like pick up and move or go somewhere um and the way i why why i'm saying that is because the her not the hermit <laughs> the fool to the ten of pentacles the ten of pentacles is behind the fool it looks like you're leaving behind some sort of foundation or some sort of place or something that you've built and grew over a long period of time or at least months maybe years or longer but it seems like there's something you're 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 taking a leap off some sort of platform um that you've like established so you're leaving something that is well established to go create more create more like platforms not like okay how do i does that make sense let me just see what the other cards are okay the page of pentacles nine of cups and the five of swords okay so you're determined to win you're determined when it comes to this new start or this new cycle like you're very much like driven to not quit to not lose to not fail you won't fail in this new direction and so you have an offer coming in for some it's about your job it's about your money for others it's about some sort of wish fulfillment here it's important again you don't let your pride or ego get in the way five of swords with the nine of cups this is kind of like perhaps you might be like hmm how do i want to put this and i'm gonna let you guys go after this fuck we're we're, we're talking too long um you know how earlier with the octopus i was kind of saying like people pleasing tendencies and how you may be bending over backwards for other people who maybe don't do the same for you and how boundaries are very important and it seems like you're really getting very firm on that but it's almost to the verge where you could be stepping on other people's toes in order for you to succeed and you for to flourish like that's a little messy that's a little messy there might be and then at the bottom of the four of cups there might be some things that you're not listening to okay uh six of wands four of cups six of wands you could be ignoring other people's opinions or judgments or um what they're telling you what to do or not to do so that's good like you're you're not letting that rule or dictate your life um unless it, unless it's positive <laughs> unless it's positive you know you might not be the most open to some like feedback or criticism right now you might actually be very defensive when it comes to that or receiving like it might be five of five of wands two of cups see i'm seeing that there's a little bit of some conflicts in some of your relationships here and it's i think the reason why you might be experiencing some of this tension is because you might be either completely shut off i don't know but pisces i gotta let you go because this reading's been going on too long but basically you got a lot to think about and the future is not quite set in stone and there's some new cycles that you are beginning and initiating 
you're leaving behind some sort of structure, some sort of routine or in order, like you're taking some sort of leap of faith. I see you taking some sort of risk and maybe that's what other people are like not understanding, but it's not their life. It's your life. You got to live your life to the fullest. So I don't know. Give us some time. Think about it. No pressure, no rush. Move at the time that feels right for you. Don't let your past hold you back. I don't know. It feels like it's an interesting month for you, though. Very deep. So take your time, feel things out, and you'll figure it out. All right, Pisces. Thank you for your love and your support. I appreciate you. Have a very great day, and I'll talk to you in your next reading. Bye.